Hello students, today we will learn properties of addition. The first property is additive identity. And what it says? It says when 0 is added to any value, then sum will always the same value okay that means whenever we add 0 to any value or number the sum will always the same number for example what suppose it is 810 suppose the number is 8108 and if we add 0 to it then the answer will be or the sum will always be 8108 that is the same number okay this number and this number will always same we already know that whenever we add 0 to any number then the result or sum will always the same number and this property is known as additive identity and here 0 is known as and here 0 is also known as additive identity Okay, 0 here known as additive identity and the property is known as additive identity property. Okay, now second property, second property is called commutative property. What it says when two numbers, when two values or numbers are added in any order then then sum or result always remains same okay what it means Whenever we are adding numbers in any orders or in any statement, then the sum will always remain same. Okay. For example, what commutative property says? If we add 1 plus 2, the result will be or the sum is 1 plus 2 is 3. And if we are adding 1 and 2 in different order also, suppose order different order means here we have written 1. 1 by and then added 2 in it. Now we are writing 2 first and then we are writing 2 to it. Ah, sorry, we are writing 2 first and then we are writing 1 to it. Then all also result will be same. So here also the result is 3 and here is also the result is 3. So from here what we have seen even if we have changed the order the result will always same and it is known as commutative property it is known as commutative property okay now the third property what it says when 3 or more values are added in different groups then result or sum always remains same ok what is associative property? associative property says when 3 or more values are added in different groups, then also result or sum always remain same. For example, suppose we have 3 numbers. The number is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Okay, they are the 3 numbers. Now we are added them in different groups. Different group means suppose we have, we have made group of 1 plus 2. Then what will be the answer? But if we add 1 plus 2, what will we get? 3. Then 
Hence, what we will add? Plus 3 to 8. The answer will be 6. So, here what we have group? We have group 1 plus 2 means we have solved 1 plus 2 first. Now, in second case, again we have 3 numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3, same 3 numbers and we are grouping here these 2 numbers, 2 plus 3 means we are associating or we have associate 2 plus 3, okay. So, what will be the result? 1, we will add later and now what will be the answer of 2 plus 3? 2 plus 3 is 5 and if we add 5 to 1, what will be the answer? 6. So, even if we have made different different groups, here 1 plus 2 is we have solved first, here 2 plus 3 we have solved first, even then answer will remain same. Here also we get 6 and here also we get 6. So, this is the associative property. So, these are the three properties of additive identity. Okay? One more property is there in additive is uh, fourth one. Suppose fourth property. Okay. What it says if we add, you all know, if we add plus 1 to any digit. Suppose A is any number. And if we add plus 1 to add, then what we will get? We will get successor of that number. Okay. This is the property. What it says if we add plus 1 to any number, we will get the successor of any number. Okay. It is also the one of the property of addition. For example, you already know if we add plus 1 to 10, what we will get? 11. And 11 is known as the successor of 10. Okay. So, these are the properties of addition. Okay. चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें और बेल आइकन को जरूर प्रेस करें ताकि आने वाले वीडियोस का नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलता रहे तब तक के लिए गुड बाय एंड टेक केयर